So I'm dancing for your motherfucking money. And you know, you see this fat boy dance, boy. Okay, um, I'm drinking Fireball. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> it just, my videos just don't hit right if I don't start them off with a drink. I mean, that's just how I do, you know. Uh, that shit's good. I got the mixture just right. Anyway, um, just real quick, um, episodes one and two of the season three were blocked recently. So those are episodes I actually did not split into two parts. Um, basically what happens is when I get done, I've edited everything. I edit all the reactions. And then I look at my, I've got a time bar that tells me like how long it's set exactly 10 minutes. And so I look at, I could just look, I can eyeball it. If I'm within a minute or two of the 10 minutes, I just make it one episode. If I'm way, the, I had a lot of shit to say and I reacted a lot and I looked through it and it's actually funny or whatever, or I enjoyed it or I find it entertaining or informative or whatever, I'll split it into two. That's, I, there's no predetermined. I don't go into an episode, hey, this is going to be a two-parter or hey, this isn't, or I'm not splitting them two-parters to get twice the views. It's basically just I let the, you know, the, the natural course of events, nature takes its course. So the way it worked out was I didn't have a whole hell of a lot to say about the first two episodes. They were mostly set up. It makes sense. It makes sense. The further you get into a season, the more you have to say, typically speaking, if the show's good and all that shit. Point being, since there was no two parts, usually what's been, what's been happening is part one will get blocked so I can put a link to part one for, to my Patreon in part two. Or part two will get blocked, so I could put a link in part one. In this case, these were only one part, both of them. So I've got to do a new video just so I can have a place to put the link. You know, makes sense. But so look below, there'll be a link to episode one and episode two. You can go there to my Patreon and watch it for free, both of them. You know, um, but while we're here, since, since I got to do a fucking video anyway, right? Um, I wanted to talk about my Patreon real quick because I don't think I've really talked about it too much in video form. I don't think, maybe like early on a couple months ago, but you know, uh, when you drink, like your memory goes back a couple weeks, that's about it. More or less, I'm kidding. Um, so I, I'm a fan of reaction channels. I watch a lot of reaction channels. I watch the big ones, the normies and um, you know, Blind Wave, of course. Apparently those fan bases have some kind of like animosity towards each other. <clears throat> I don't get into all that. Like I enjoy both. Um, and then I, um, I watch smaller channels, like there's a 365 crew, I think they're called, something like that. Um, there's a lot of Alley Reacts, there's a lot of little channels I really like, you know, uh, Leah, uh, uh, there's, there's some of them I can't fucking pronounce, like why LA, what the hell am I supposed to do with that? Like how the fuck do I pronounce that? Yeah, anyway, point being, um, I, I watch a lot of React channels, most of them have Patreons, and what I've noticed with all of them, is all, and I'm not. I'm not shitting on anybody. I'm just saying this is. I, it's an observation. I notice this, right? Almost all of them, their patrons are basically the uncut version of the full reaction. Like you know, if it's a 41 minute episode, there's a full 41 minutes plus what they said before and what they said after. You know, and my issue with that is I would. I've, I've tried to watch a couple of them, and they're fucking boring, man. Because in order to react properly to an episode, at some point you have to watch part of the episode. Or, you know, uh, you might be, like, scratching your face or something. And I find that really distracting. I hate it when I do it. I try to cut it out. You know, and, like, we're, we're in a new world order. We're not supposed to be touching our fucking face anyway. I find it really fucking distracting. And, it, and so you'll have that. You'll have people, you know, like, uh, farting and burping or whatever, man. Like, none of this shit. I, I, I just find that shit distracting, right? Like, I just want to see the best 10 to 15 minutes of what you did during that episode because nobody's going to be 100% on the full time. Like, there's a lot of jokes I tell that I just cut out because they sucked. Like, or I misunderstood a key component of what happened. Like, you know, um, I thought somebody was a boyfriend instead of a grandfather. You know, so I made three jokes about being a boyfriend. Turns out they're a fucking grandfather. Those jokes don't land. Like, the, the audience is sitting there looking at you like, you're a fucking idiot. Or I make observations that are stupid or I slur my words, which happens sometimes. Um, I'm not used to talking in front of a camera. I usually work behind a camera. So I'm still getting used to, like, enunciating better so I don't slur my words. So nobody would want to fucking see a full reaction that I do. They, they just want it to be really fucking boring. Plus, it you, you get the same entertainment value for twice or three times the amount of time. So I personally, and this is just me personally, see no value in a full reaction. Like, I see no value. Like, I just, I can't imagine. I don't want to see it. And apparently other people do because all the other channels offer them. So for me, that's not a, that's not a good perk. 
The other perk is you get the episode early. And I see the value in that because there'll be times I'll be watching the normies and they're doing like, you know, uh, the hundred. I'm like, oh my God, three episodes from now, they're going to fucking flip their lid. They're going to freak the fuck out when they see this shit in three episodes, right? And so now I got to wait three fucking weeks to see this shit happen because they're going through a couple of filler episodes before they get to the dope shit, right? I see the value in that. I totally do. Unfortunately, the problem is if you come into it late, like a year after they, they dropped that season, it don't fucking matter. Like, you know, so it's a very limited time offer, right? I see, I, if you're a big channel and you got 100,000 fans or a million fans, whatever the fuck they have, right? You know, I think they're after millions. I don't know. Um, there's definite value for that three weeks of being able to see this shit early. So I see the value in it. Um, I don't know that the value is so much like, it, it's, but it's a limited time offer value. You know, if a channel's been around, they've been around for four years, they've been putting videos out, ain't much value in it. So that's two perks that they always offer that there's not much value to. Um, and I think that, like, for Blind Wave, I think that's all they offer. They don't offer anything else. Now, some of the, like, the normies, are like, they'll, you know, you get to a certain point, you can, like, make them watch something, you know? That's valuable. So for me, when I started, I said, well, I want to do a Patreon. I need money, right? I, I, to, to, you know, my business is, like, you know, cratered, like most people's businesses have cratered. You know, I do, like, uh, editing and shit, you know, both film editing and... Uh, well, actually, AutoCAD drafting is not editing, but you know, same thing. It's basically computer work. People aren't really designing and building houses right now, so I can't do that. Like you know, anyway, I'm not trying to pour them off you guys. I'm just saying, like, I need like income, right? So I said, well, I want to do a Patreon, and so, but I want to offer shit that people might actually fucking want. You know, like you know, just something different that nobody's doing. And I've always had that frame of mind when I do my, any any business, offer something nobody else is offering. And I haven't seen anybody else offer shit that's exclusive exclusive reactions just for Patreon that will never, ever appear on the, on YouTube. Never appear anywhere else, only behind the pay, uh, Patreon paywall. Do that, that's valuable. You know, and then there's other shit like, you know, I've only got two patrons so far. When we get more, we'll start doing polls. It's stupid to do a poll when you only have two patrons. Like, you know, we'll do polls later, you know, for like future shit to watch. And then at some of the higher levels, you can make me watch something. Now, one level is you can make me watch it, but if I don't like it, I'm going to fucking quit. Like, <laughs> it's fucking, it, this shit sucks ass. You try to make me watch some fucking Twilight shit or like a fucking Fifty Shades of Grey, and that shit sucks, which I know it will, I'm bailing. But then at the highest pay level, of course, because you know, that's how you got to do it, right? Um, I have to finish it, but I'm allowed to cuss you out the whole time I'm finishing it. <laughs> I'm allowed to fucking cuss you out. And call you whatever the fuck I want to call you. Hurt your feelings. Because you made me watch this bullshit. <laughs> so those are my levels. You know? So I just wanted to offer shit that people might want. That's not just a name. The other thing is just, just it's there's no labor involved. Because you start off with the full video. You just fucking export the shit and you're done. You throw it on fucking Patreon. You're fucking done, man. Like, there ain't no effort in that shit. Like, I mean, that's fine. Other people do it. Like, I'm really not trying to dog other people out. I'm really not. But there ain't no effort involved in that shit, man. If I'm going to patronize somebody, I want some goddamn effort, man. I want to know that they fucking work for that. Dance for my money, motherfucker. Well, I'm dancing for your money. Because every week I'm releasing an Enterprise at the lowest tier. And I'm releasing Orphan Black at the mid-level tier. And then in between those two, I'm releasing a movie once a month. So you're basically getting uh, eight episodes of TV and then a movie reaction for, you know, at the most five bucks a month. You know, so I'm dancing for your motherfucking money. And, you know, you see this fat boy dance, boy. So anyway, so that's my Patreon. I haven't really talked about it like in any great length. That was my mindset. Um, so if you guys want to go check it out, there's a patron, patron link below. And, you know, uh, Patreon, you know, it'd be help, helpful if I actually pronounce the shit right. You know, there's a Patreon link below. Yeah, you know, go check it out. Anyway, uh, yeah, otherwise, uh, these are the two episodes of Ozark that these motherfuckers like blocked me out of. So, you know. Um, there we go.